say that a, a weed is just a flower in the wrong place. But if you're operating a railway, weeds can be a very serious problem indeed. They get everywhere in the switch gear, the track bed, they even manage to seed themselves in the infrastructure. Enter the Smart Weed System Train, a joint project from GB Rail Freight, Network Rail, Bayer Environmental Science, and several other high tech partners. It's going to revolutionise weed control on the UK's rail network and it's on test here at the SBR. Where I'm situated is uh, the seat of the operator manager. Uh, this is the seat where he will uh, um, control the herbicide tanks level and the parameters before departure, what product he wants, with which pump and where he wants to apply the product. Uh, which knows only want to, to switch on and, uh, and configure that and always uh, have a quick look on, uh, on all those parameters during the trip. In this seat we also have the, the display that uh, forecasts the forward view of the track and, uh, and also the joysticks that uh, always give uh, a manual control of the, the nozzles and the spray system in case uh, uh, the automatic uh, system needs to be uh, controlled by the operators. We also have the GPS uh, that uh, gives the situation uh, on the track, so the restricted area, but also the, the, area will, uh, the areas where we will spray the, the herbicides. So here we have all the spraying system. So we have four herbicide tanks with 1,000 litres capacity. So this is where we will fill the product, the herbicides that will be applied on the tracks. And basically we have a big water pump that pumps water from the water tank and then gets diluted with the herbicides to make a good dosage. And basically what we have in our left is all um, the dosing system which uh, actually gives uh, the product to the different zones where we want to apply. And there are several obviously uh, mixing pumps, dosing pumps and electro valves that will control all of the different uh, features of the train. We are testing our uh, spray system, making sure uh, we can sp spray in spot application. And uh, for the spot, ap spot application, we are trying uh, uh, different areas, so track, ballast shoulder, and bunk side. And we'd like to make sure that all the, the different areas will be detected in spray. So, so why have you laid these cloths down? Uh, so we have laid on uh, a tarpaulin because uh, there are natural uh, weeds already and uh, when there are weeds our system is automatically opening and spraying everything so as we want to, sp uh, to try our spot application we need to remove those background green background and just put uh, display some weeds at some points to to test the spot application now what you've got in your hand there it doesn't exactly look like a weed <laughs> to me it looks suspiciously yes. like parsley yes why are you using that so um, I went to the garden center and they didn't have uh, any uh, natural weeds. So I tried to find some something that looks like grass or weeds itself. So I found this uh, beautiful parsley and things. <laughs> now, of course, you're not actually using herbicide on the test, are you? No. Tell, tell me why not. Uh, we are using water uh, for the simple reason and now we need to fix uh, our system before being able to use herbicides so we try everything with water. Well first of all we had a long discussion as to what they wanted to do uh, and you've probably seen already tonight it's quite complicated the actual the actual testing but we've, we've arranged it so that it's all done out, out of hours so it's after our service is finished uh, I have to commend Matt Robinson who's done all the work to organise it with the client in terms of how the testing is going to work, where the, where the equipment is stabled, where the locos are stabled and organising it all so it comes out on a daily basis as smooth as silk. We, we take the view that we need to be as flexible as we can uh, and we be, need to enhance the reputation of the Seven Valley. And to do that, you have to understand what the client needs and try and do your best to respond to it within the, within the constraints that are imposed upon us. Like, for example, we had to get dispensation from the regulator to run this train at 35 miles an hour because, as you know, our, our um, top speed is 25 and they needed to test it at 35. So my colleague Andy Barr 
went and organised and got the dispensation from the regulator. So there's a lot of people that have really been involved in this. Our testing is quite special. We need people on the ground. We need to be able to go to the ground to check the weeds, to check if when we sprayed, they were sprayed. And basically it's not just people on the train going back and forward. We need to have people on the ground, people inside, people outside, and basically making lots of different runs of different speed, stopping here, going there, going back, going back. And basically we had a great support from SVR in this park because they were, they were able to comply with all our requirements and all our different questions and can you please do this? Yes. Can you please do that? Yes. So basically we're really happy with the result. The Smart Weed System train on test at the SVR. Another example of our heritage railway facilitating the cutting edge technology that's needed on the main line. Now this train will soon be joined by two others and between them they'll be taming weeds across the UK rail network.